sweet relief after a long journey home. I ran away from the bombs and here is quiet. 126 Australians among more than 200 passengers arriving in Sydney on an Australian government-sponsored repatriation flight. We also leave three daughters behind as well, so it's uh, you know, quite mixed feelings, but thank God we're here. Safety for those fleeing Israel. Not so for others stuck in Gaza. I feel very strongly that uh, Palestinians are being collectively punished here for Hamas's barbarism. The federal government's two Muslim ministers lending their voices to a community feeling voiceless. We have over 3,000 people in Palestine who have been killed. Over 1,000 of them are children. It is hard to argue that children are Hamas. We don't see any public landmarks in Australia that are being lit up in red, black, white and green. Australia's Palestinian community demanding the federal government condemn Israel's siege of Gaza, arguing it amounts to collective punishment, a war crime under the Geneva Convention. It's inhumane, it's against every principle of human compassion. The idea of war crimes is something that needs to be investigated. Does your government believe Israel is carrying out collective punishment of Palestinians? I'm not going to get into um, uh, passing the language uh, used by colleagues. We all choose our own ways. Uh, to describe our reactions. War crime is a description used by the Jewish community fearing for the safety of hostages taken by Hamas militants. When are you going to release our hostages, our families, our children, our sons, our daughters, our grandparents? The way to ensure peace for both peoples is the destruction of Hamas. This parliament's often touted as the most diverse Jewish and Palestinian interests both represented and expressed using language that so far has been more nuanced than it has inflammatory. That doesn't mean the Middle East crisis is completely devoid of politics though. Peter Dutton pressing Anthony Albanese to stop in Tel Aviv on next week's trip to Washington. The Prime Minister's office showing no inclination to do so. Matthew Doran, ABC News, Canberra.